UK YouTubers. This is Joe from Art Alien TV. Now today I've got this new gig plan for you to check out and a couple of things to look at here. Not going to be a long video today. This is going to be a nice quick one for you. I've got other things I'm working on. I may put another video up later today or one tomorrow because I've got some stuff from the Chinese Rover to look at as well. So keep your eyes peeled for that. That'll be up later or tomorrow. Now this is Mars Science Laboratory. That's the Curiosity Rover. Uh, Sol 3175CC. Now CC stands for ChemCam, okay? And the ChemCam takes these round images like this. And we got this ridge line with some interesting stuff here, particularly just here, um, but also along this ridge at the back. Now some of these are a bit blurred. This camera tends to be only in focus near the center of the image and, and the outer part of the image is very blurred. And when you stitch them together, the, only the middle part of each section really is in focus or sort of vaguely in focus. Uh, but this is quite a long way from the rover and it's probably zoomed in about half a mile or a mile away to this ridge line. And I've got it here for you to have a look at. Now, this is just a plain black and white image like the originals, but what I've done is I've done a clip here. Now, the area in question, the main area, is this part sticking out here, okay? And we have, it's not immediately obvious, but actually I spotted this almost straight away. We have here a statue of a standing person with a beard, and it's very eroded, it's a bit blurry, the image is not sharp. Now, I have sharpened this image. Um, it's probably better to look at the actual enhanced version a bit further down here. But I'm going to show you this with the magnifier anyway. There, there's the statue. There's the mouth. Two eyes. The nose. It's not, very, it's not very clear. You've got to brighten this up really to see it properly. He's got a beard. And he's got an arm coming down here. And an arm coming down here. And this is the body. Okay. Here's the enhanced version. Now, as you can see, I've played with the contrast and brightness a bit here. And this is a lot clearer. But it's still not brilliant because this, I think, is probably taken from about a mile away. So everything is a bit soft focus and not in sharp detail. But I have sharpened this up a bit, so it's a bit better. And I've also colorized it here for you, which may look better for some people. Um, but basically, it's a statue. Now, I'm calling this the Mud Pharaoh. The reason I'm calling him that, basically, is because he's got a pharaoh-style beard sticking down here. And you can even see the ring around the beard. Just there. Okay, there's the mouth. There's the nose. This is all broken. Now, this head has been broken. In other words, what we're seeing is that the, the top part of the head, the eyebrows and above, has broken away and eroded. This would have been much more prominent than I would, I would have thought. And what we're seeing is the remainders of the head, the top part of the head, where you can just about make out the two eye sockets here. There's the left one. Here's the right one. Now, if this was still intact, this would be a lot more detailed. And we, a much more prominent forehead, I think, in, initially. But this is quite heavily damaged, and parts of it have fallen away onto the ground. So let's look at the enhanced, colorized version here. OK, uh, there it is. And you can see those two eye sockets there. They're quite vague, um, but there's good mouth detail. We've got teeth in there, one, two, three, four, five, maybe. Um, but this is all cracked and broken. This is probably a million years old. It could be much older. Um, there's also what seems to be another head down here, just here, which is partially buried in sand here. We've got two eyes here and a nose sticking down. This is a head, it looks like. And there's also one in the background just up here. Now I'm going to show you this in my graphics processor because it'd be a little bit clearer for you. And I'm going to highlight these things a bit more clearly. Now, Let's go in close and have a look at the black and white one first. You can actually see the head coming around here. There's the nose. There's one eye here. And the other eye here. You've got mouth detail in there. You can actually see the mouth detail here. You can see the lip. There's the lip. And the mouth coming around like that. This is the, the cheekbone coming down here. We've got the chin. We have a ring here and a beard. This is a pharaoh-style beard, a bit like you would see on an Egyptian statue. 
of say Tutankhamun or Ramesses or, or one of the famous kings of Egypt. But we've also got this rather strange detail here, which looks a bit like a hand or something. I'm not really sure what that it represents. But we got, let's get rid of that. We've got, uh, there's the, the beard comes to sort of there. And then we've got an arm coming down here. Like that, that's an arm. And another arm here, which comes down like that. And this looks like the shoulder here, or up here. But it's all kind of carved out of this rock, which is all kind of subsided and collapsed and cracked and broken away, okay? Um, it's not immediately obvious. Like a lot of these things on Mars, they're very, very ancient, and some of them are heavily damaged, and this is no exception. Some of the statues I've shown are in quite good condition. Um, unfortunately, with this one, not only is it a long way off, uh, but it's also quite heavily damaged, and it's very, very old, it looks. Um, that head is down here. There's a little head near the base of this statue, buried. There's an eye there, and an eye there and the nose, and it actually comes right down to here. You can see a shadow here. So what we're seeing is the sand's blown up against it. There's a mouth, nostrils here, and this is the eyebrow, and this, it looks like a head, it may not be. This may be an optical trick, but it looks like some kind of um, person there, with a, perhaps with a beard, okay? Um, you can actually see that on the Gigapan. It's not very clear on the Gigapan. You can see it better here or in here, where it's being sharpened a bit. I've sharpened this up a bit. You can see it there. You can see the two eyes, one there and one there, and the head comes up like that. There's also one at the background here, but it's not very clear. This, this may be one here, but it's too far away, and it's very blurry, this part of the image. Okay, But then there was this thing. Now, I first looked at this, I thought, hmm, is that just a rock sticking out, this thing here? Super strange, this thing. Um, this may be an optical trick, but um, I actually think this may be another one, but it doesn't represent a humanoid. It represents something very strange, like a, like an insect or an insectoid type of head. And it's in heavy shadow, so what you've got to do is take a clip of that and brighten it up and look into the shadow, right? Right, now here we are. Now this is super strange. Now this has been enhanced. I've taken a clip of that. I've brightened it up quite a lot. Added some contrast and brightness. And I've colorized it brown, okay, to make it look more like rock. And it also uh, sometimes helps with these images to warm the image up slightly. But you can see that a lot of this is all blurry here. That's because this image was the edge of the image and this is nearer the middle of this image. So the edge of that image where they stitch together is much more blurred than this. This is quite often the case, especially with ChemCam images. And so you'll have some parts of the image which are quite clear and some parts which are very blurred indeed. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, that's just the way it is. But this is weird. Now, this looks like a head, but it may not be. You've got an eye here and an eye here. And the face coming down here and the chin coming to here with a mouth, a small mouth there, okay? It's very, very strange, and in fact, the eyes are very insectoid, if you ask me. If this is what I think it is, it may not be. We're seeing the edge of that eye sticking out, and this large one here sort of comes back like that. It's almost like an ant, or what would I call it, a mantid-style kind of insectoid or something. Very strange. There's the chin, and what looks like a mouth there, which is really small and possible nose detail there, okay? But this is really strange. And it's this angle here that caught my eye, this, this kind of line, this diagonal. And then I thought, well, hang on a minute, it seems to have two eyes, but if you look at the actual gigapan, it's too dark, right? But you can see that eye there. You can see the shadow around it. If you adjust your eyes a bit, or if you tilt your screen a little bit, you can see that there's an eye shape there, and there's another one here, and a mouth there, and a chin. But this, like I said, it may be an optical trick, 
But when you have a large statue like this in the area, here, of a standing person, which is highly eroded and broken down, and a possible another one here, there's also some very interesting stuff in this whole part here. And I think there are probably more in here, but they're so badly damaged um, that it's hard to make out whether your your own brain is, is trying to find faces or whether they're actually there. Um, this is the problem, especially when you're looking at eroded rock like this. You can often find things that look a bit like faces, but you have to have more than something that looks a bit like something to say it is something. It has to look a lot like something, and it has to have a lot of other attributes which match up as well. As we have here, we've got arms and a body and a beard, eyes, nose, mouth, and teeth detail. You can even see those teeth in this raw kind of black and white image here. You can actually see those with the magnifier, okay? I haven't added those in. You can see one there, one there, and a couple there. But it's vague, and unfortunately, these things are very, very old. We shouldn't expect to find perfect pristine-looking artwork on the surface of Mars. Some of them are pretty good. And some of the ones I've shown are in pretty good nick, but most of them aren't. Most of them are very damaged and broken and fragmented, cracked and weathered, and um, that's to be expected when you're looking at an ancient civilization in an area which is very similar to the Valley of the Kings in Egypt, as I've said a hundred times before. A lot of these ridges mark burial areas, and there, there's even what looks like here, a possible burial exposed. This looks a bit like a skull, I don't know if it is. It's not clear enough. But this mound here looks like an exposed burial here. And we've got a kind of weird looking shaped thing here which looks like a skull with eye sockets and a nose and a chin, just there and a kind of mound, and they, these are all over the place. I've shown hundreds of these now. Uh, I've shown hundreds of skulls and probably well over 100 statues now. In fact, between the two, it's probably getting nearer to 300 uh, skulls and statues and carved faces and heads and, and figurines and things like that. So this is by no means a one-off. And in fact, there seems to be a whole row of things here. So unfortunately, the image quality has let us down here and the distance has let us down because this is a long way from the rover and it zoomed right into this ridge line, at least a mile away, I would say, from the rover. And uh, as a result, um, we're not getting very clear images here, but clear enough to see this rather large statue. Now, how big do I think this is? This one here, between 10 and 20 feet, I would say. So another eroded, broken and ancient statue. I'm calling this the Mud Pharaoh. For obvious reasons. He's got a pharaoh's beard. Let's have a look at him in here. Let's go back to that. So we've got this weird insectoid. And once you see it, it's like, whoa, that's really weird. But like I said, it could be an optical trick, but it does seem to have been shaped here. It does seem to have been shaped. And the way it's sticking out doesn't look like natural erosion to me. Okay? And there's also some weird detail down below it here, just here something strange going on here right that's interesting so we got what looks a bit like an insectoid but may not be maybe an optical trick and we have the large probably 10 or 20 feet tall um, statue of what I'm calling the mud pharaoh and basically what I'll do here I'll, I'll darken it up for you now because actually this may stand out to you better if I darken it a bit more there we are now you can actually see that head a lot more clearly, just there. The shape of it, it stands out quite well. And you can see the beard coming down with the ring there. You can see the mouth detail, just there. You can see the nose. And you can see these eroded eye sockets where the, the top of the head's probably split away. And uh, you can, But you can still see the shapes that were there. This was probably a lot more prominent, this head, before it broke or was eroded away over a million years or so, perhaps. I mean, this could only be 50,000 years, but I, I really don't know. I can't tell you. But there's some interesting details in here. And when you start looking, you can see, you see that head. When you add more contrast, like I've just done, you can see this down here a lot more clearly, this one. 
but unfortunately it's buried down to about here. You can see the mouth, nose, eye, and other eye, just there. Okay. Very interesting. And this one, let me uh, get rid of that. You can see the arms quite clearly, even though it's all cracked and broken away, coming down. Like that. So there we are. An eroded, broken, cracked, and weathered ancient statue of possibly a pharaoh, and this is probably marking a burial structure. And I would imagine there's multiple burials in this ridge, underneath and inside, and in little chambers, there'd be skulls. Like I've shown many times before, a lot of these ridges were burials, okay? So there we are. The Mud Pharaoh of Mars. You can actually see that mouth detail there quite well. Just here, and the eyes. Doesn't really help with that. It's, sometimes when it's a complex image, it doesn't make a lot of sense. But with this one, I imagine it might. Let's try this one. Um, there we are. Look at it now. Look at those eyes. Look at the mouth. How weird is that? The insectoid. Very strange. Okay. So thanks for watching, everybody. Clips coming up in a second. Uh, like I said, there may be another video up later, but probably there'll be one tomorrow or late tonight, early morning or something like that. Okay. With the Chinese things that I found. I found that what looked like some skulls and stuff on the ground right by the Chinese Zhu Rong rover. Okay. So keep your eyes peeled. Thanks for watching, everybody. Clips coming up. No.